How to Develop the Leader Within You John C. Maxwell Developing the Leader Within You by John C. Maxwell is a seminal work on leadership, emphasizing personal growth and development as the foundation for becoming an effective leader. Here are the key points and principles outlined in the book. In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell emphasizes that the essence of leadership is influence. Here's a deeper dive into this concept. The definition of leadership, influence. Key idea. Leadership is fundamentally about influence. It's not about titles, positions, or flowcharts. It's about one life influencing another. Why influence is central to leadership. Nature of leadership. According to Maxwell, leadership is defined by the ability to influence others. Whether in business, community, or family, those who lead are the ones who influence others to take action, change direction, or adopt new ways of thinking. Influence over authority. Maxwell argues that true leadership is not about authority or power, but about the capacity to inspire and motivate others. While authority can mandate compliance, influence fosters genuine commitment and engagement. Relational aspect. Influence is built on relationships. Leaders who build strong relationships based on trust, respect, and mutual understanding are more effective in influencing others. Developing influence. Build trust. Trust is the foundation of influence. Leaders must be reliable, honest, and consistent. By demonstrating integrity and keeping commitments, leaders earn the trust of their followers. Be authentic. Authenticity breeds influence. Leaders who are genuine and transparent about their intentions and values resonate more deeply with their followers. Show empathy. Understanding and addressing the needs and concerns of others is crucial. Empathetic leaders connect with their followers on a personal level, enhancing their ability to influence. Demonstrate competence, expertise, and competence in one's field or role increase a leader's influence. Followers are more likely to be influenced by leaders who are knowledgeable and skilled. Led by example, actions speak louder than words. Leaders who model the behaviors and attitudes they wish to see in others set a powerful example and significantly enhance their influence. Practical Applications Assess your influence. Regularly evaluate how much influence you have within your team or organization. Are people naturally drawn to your ideas and direction? Strengthen relationships. Invest time in building strong, trust-based relationships with those you lead. Engage in active listening and show genuine interest in their well-being. Increase visibility. Be present and visible within your organization. Participation in various activities and initiatives can increase your influence. Provide value. Consistently look for ways to add value to others. Whether through mentorship, support, or sharing knowledge, adding value strengthens your influence. Conclusion. Maxwell's principle that leadership is influence underscores the relational and motivational dimensions of leadership. By focusing on building trust, being authentic, showing empathy, demonstrating competence, and leading by example. Individuals can enhance their influence and become more effective leaders. Influence, rather than authority, becomes the cornerstone of impactful leadership. In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell outlines five levels of leadership. Each level builds upon the previous one, and leaders must progress through these levels to maximize their influence and effectiveness. Here is a detailed explanation of each level. The Levels of Leadership 1. Position. People follow because they have to. Description. This is the lowest level of leadership, where influence is based on the title or position held. People follow because they are required to do so, often due to organizational hierarchy. Characteristics. Leadership is granted by the position, not the person. Authority comes from the job title. Compliance is achieved through rules and regulations. Limitations. Minimal influence beyond job requirements. Followers may do only what is required and nothing more. Relies heavily on formal authority. 2. Permission. People follow because they want to. Description. At this level, leadership is based on relationships. People follow because they like you and allow you to lead them. Characteristics. Influence is built on trust and mutual respect. Leaders listen well, care about others, and build strong relationships. A positive, people-oriented environment is created. Advantages. Increase cooperation and team cohesion. 
followers are more willing to go beyond the minimum requirements. Stronger loyalty and commitment from team members. 3. Production. People follow because of what you have done for the organization. Description. Leadership at this level is characterized by results. People follow because they see the positive impact of the leader's contributions to the organization. Characteristics. Leaders achieve organizational goals and objectives. Influence is derived from the leader's ability to produce results. A culture of productivity and achievement is fostered. Advantages. Higher morale and performance within the team. Increased credibility and influence due to visible achievements. Followers are motivated by the leader's track record of success. 4. People development. People follow because of what you have done for them personally. Description. At this level, leaders focus on developing others. People follow because of the personal growth and development they experience under the leader's guidance. Characteristics. Leaders invest in their team members' personal and professional growth. Mentorship, coaching, and empowerment are key activities. A strong, capable team is built, enhancing overall organizational performance. Advantages. Increased loyalty and retention of team members. Higher levels of skill and competence within the team. Long-term, sustainable success through the development of future leaders. 5. Pinnacle. People follow because of who you are and what you represent. Description. The highest level of leadership is based on the leader's character, reputation, and legacy. People follow because they respect and admire the leader's integrity and influence. Characteristics. Leaders have a significant impact both within and beyond the organization. Influence is widespread and enduring. Leadership is characterized by wisdom, vision, and a strong sense of purpose. Advantages, maximum influence, and respect from followers. The leader's legacy inspires future generations. Significant positive impact on the organization and community. Practical applications. Assess your current level. Identify which level of leadership you are currently operating at with different individuals or groups. Work on relationships. Focus on building strong, trust-based relationships to move from position to permission. Achieve results. Demonstrate your ability to produce tangible outcomes to advance to the production level. Invest in people. Prioritize the development of your team members to reach the people development level. Build a legacy. Strive for personal growth and integrity to ultimately reach the pinnacle level. Conclusion Maxwell's five levels of leadership provide a roadmap for leaders to increase their influence and effectiveness. By progressing through these levels, starting from position and aspiring to pinnacle, leaders can create meaningful, lasting impacts on their organizations and the people they lead. In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell emphasizes that effective leadership is rooted in the ability to set and manage priorities. Leaders who can focus on what truly matters are able to maximize their impact and lead their teams more efficiently. The key to leadership, priorities. Key idea, effective leaders prioritize their tasks and focus on the most important activities that will have the greatest impact on their goals and the organization's success. Why priorities are essential. Efficient use of time. Leaders have limited time and resources. By prioritizing tasks, they ensure that their time and energy are spent on activities that yield the highest returns. Achieving goals. Prioritization helps leaders stay focused on their most important goals and objectives, increasing the likelihood of achieving them. Managing resources. Effective prioritization ensures that resources, time, money, personnel, are allocated to the most critical areas, avoiding waste and inefficiency. Reducing stress. When leaders know what their priorities are, they can reduce stress by focusing on what's most important and letting go of less critical tasks. The Pareto Principle, 80-20 Rule. Maxwell introduces the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 Rule, to highlight the importance of prioritization. 80-20th Rule, 20% of activities yield 80% of results. Leaders should focus on identifying and concentrating on the top 20% of tasks that will drive the most significant outcomes. How to set priorities. Identify key goals. Determine what the most important goals are for you and your organization. These should be aligned with your overall vision and mission. Evaluate tasks. Assess the tasks and activities on your to-do list. Identify which ones are essential for achieving your key goals and which ones are less critical. 
Rank activities. Rank tasks based on their importance and urgency. Use a priority matrix, e.g., Eisenhower box, to categorize tasks into important and urgent. Do these tasks immediately. Important but not urgent. Schedule these tasks for later. Not important but urgent. Delegate these tasks. Not important and not urgent. Eliminate or minimize these tasks. Focus on high-impact activities. Concentrate your efforts on the top 20% of tasks that will produce 80% of the results. Review and adjust. Regularly review your priorities and adjust them as needed based on changes in goals, circumstances, and feedback. Practical applications. Create a priority list. Make a daily or weekly list of tasks, ranking them by importance and urgency. Delegate wisely. Identify tasks that can be delegated to others, freeing up your time for higher priority activities. Time blocking. Allocate specific blocks of time in your schedule to focus on high priority tasks without interruptions. Set boundaries. Learn to say no to tasks and requests that do not align with your priorities. Regular reflection. Periodically reflect on your goals and activities to ensure you are staying focused on your top priorities. Conclusion. Maxwell's emphasis on priorities highlights the critical role that focus and effective time management play in successful leadership. By identifying key goals, evaluating tasks, ranking activities, and concentrating on high-impact efforts, leaders can ensure that they are making the most of their time and resources. This focus on priorities not only enhances personal productivity, but also drives the organization toward achieving its most important objectives. In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell stresses that integrity is the cornerstone of effective leadership. Without integrity, a leader cannot build the trust and credibility necessary to influence others. The most important ingredient of leadership, integrity. Key idea. Integrity is the foundation of leadership. It builds trust, creates a positive reputation, and sets a standard for others to follow. Integrity involves consistency in actions, values, methods, measures, principles, expectations, and outcomes. Why integrity is essential. Builds trust. Trust is the currency of leadership. When leaders act with integrity, they earn the trust of their followers, peers, and superiors. Trust is fundamental for effective communication, collaboration, and team cohesion. Establishes credibility. Leaders with integrity are seen as credible and reliable. This credibility enhances their ability to influence and lead others. Promotes loyalty. Followers are more likely to remain loyal to leaders who demonstrate integrity. This loyalty leads to increased morale, retention, and a positive organizational culture. Encourages ethical behavior. Leaders who uphold high standards of integrity set a powerful example for their team. This encourages a culture of ethical behavior throughout the organization. Sustains long-term success. Integrity ensures that leaders make decisions that are not only effective in the short term, but also sustainable and ethical in the long term. How to develop and maintain integrity. Self-assessment. Regularly evaluate your actions and decisions to ensure they align with your values and principles. Reflect on whether you are being honest, transparent, and fair. Consistency. Be consistent in your actions and decisions. Ensure that your behavior aligns with your words and commitments. Transparency. Communicate openly and honestly with your team. Share information, admit mistakes, and be transparent about your decision-making processes. Accountability. Hold yourself accountable for your actions. Accept responsibility for your decisions and their outcomes both good and bad. Ethical standards. Establish and adhere to a clear set of ethical standards. Ensure that these standards guide your behavior and decision-making. Led by example. Model the behavior you expect from others. Demonstrate integrity in all aspects of your leadership, from small interactions to major decisions. Build trusting relationships. Invest in building strong, trust-based relationships with your team members. Show that you value their trust and are committed to maintaining it. Practical Applications Set clear values. Define and communicate your core values to your team. Make sure your actions consistently reflect these values. Create a culture of integrity. Foster an organizational culture where integrity is valued and rewarded. Encourage ethical behavior and address unethical actions promptly. Be honest and transparent. Practice honesty in all communications. 
share information openly, and be transparent about the reasons behind your decisions. Hold yourself and others accountable. Implement mechanisms for accountability within your team. Ensure that everyone, including yourself, is held to the same high standards of integrity. Admit and learn from mistakes. When mistakes are made, acknowledge them openly and take corrective action. Use these experiences as learning opportunities to improve future behavior. Conclusion John C. Maxwell's emphasis on integrity highlights its indispensable role in leadership. Integrity builds the trust, credibility, and loyalty necessary for effective leadership. By consistently aligning actions with values, being transparent and accountable, and fostering a culture of ethical behavior, leaders can ensure their long-term success and the success of their organizations. Integrity is not just an ingredient of leadership. It is the bedrock upon which true leadership is built. In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell emphasizes that the ultimate test of leadership is the ability to create positive change. True leaders are agents of transformation who inspire and guide others towards improvement and progress. The ultimate test of leadership, creating positive change. Key idea. Effective leaders initiate and manage change to improve their organizations and the lives of their followers. They recognize that change is inevitable and necessary for growth, and they lead their teams through the process of transformation. Why creating positive change is essential. Driving progress. Positive change leads to growth, innovation, and improved performance. Leaders who drive change ensure that their organizations remain competitive and relevant. Overcoming challenges. Change is often needed to address challenges and solve problems. Leaders who can effectively manage change are better equipped to navigate obstacles and find solutions. Inspiring others, leaders who champion change inspire and motivate their followers. They create a vision of a better future and energize others to work towards it. Adapting to the environment, the ability to adapt to changing circumstances is crucial for long-term success. Leaders who embrace change ensure that their organizations can respond to external pressures and opportunities. How to create positive change. Develop a vision. Positive change begins with a clear and compelling vision. Leaders must articulate a vision of what the future can be and why the change is necessary. Communicate effectively. Clear, consistent communication is essential for guiding others through change. Leaders must explain the reasons for the change, the benefits it will bring, and the steps involved in the process. Build a coalition. Change is more effective when supported by a strong coalition. Leaders should identify key stakeholders and build a team of supporters who can help drive the change forward. Empower others. Empowerment involves giving people the tools, resources, and authority they need to implement change. Leaders should delegate responsibilities and encourage initiative. Model the change. Leaders must lead by example. They should demonstrate the behaviors and attitudes they expect from others during the change process. Address resistance. Resistance to change is natural. Leaders should anticipate resistance, understand its root causes, and address concerns through empathy and communication. Create quick wins. Early successes can build momentum and demonstrate the benefits of the change. Leaders should identify and achieve short-term goals to show progress. Institutionalize the change. For change to be lasting, it must be embedded into the organization's culture and practices. Leaders should ensure that new behaviors and processes are reinforced and sustained. Practical Applications Articulate a clear vision. Spend time developing a clear and compelling vision for the change. Communicate this vision regularly to keep everyone aligned and motivated. Engage stakeholders. Identify key stakeholders who will be affected by the change. Involve them in the planning process and seek their input and support. Develop a change plan. Create a detailed plan outlining the steps needed to achieve the change. Include timelines, resources, and responsibilities. Communicate transparently. Keep lines of communication open. Regularly update your team on progress, address concerns, and celebrate successes. Led by example. Demonstrate your commitment to the change through your actions. Be a role model for the new behaviors and practices you want to see. Support your team. Provide the necessary training, resources, and support to help your team navigate the change. Encourage and recognize their efforts and achievements. Evaluate and adjust. Continuously monitor the progress of the change. 
Be prepared to make adjustments as needed based on feedback and evolving circumstances. Conclusion Creating positive change is the ultimate test of leadership, according to John C. Maxwell. Effective leaders envision a better future, communicate their vision, build coalitions, empower others, and lead by example. They address resistance and create quick wins to build momentum. By institutionalizing the change, they ensure lasting improvement and progress. Embracing and driving positive change is essential for leaders who want to leave a meaningful and enduring impact on their organizations and followers. In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell emphasizes that the quickest way to gain leadership is through effective problem solving. Leaders who can identify, analyze, and resolve problems quickly and efficiently are invaluable to their organizations. The quickest way to gain leadership, problem solving. Key idea. Effective problem solving enhances a leader's credibility, builds trust, and demonstrates their ability to make impactful decisions. Leaders who solve problems effectively are seen as competent and reliable, which accelerates their leadership growth. Why problem solving is crucial for leadership. Builds credibility and trust. Successfully resolving problems enhances a leader's credibility and earns the trust of their team and stakeholders. People are more likely to follow leaders who consistently demonstrate problem-solving abilities. Increases value. Leaders who are adept at solving problems are invaluable to their organizations. They contribute to efficiency, innovation, and overall success. Demonstrates competence. Problem-solving showcases a leader's skills, knowledge, and critical thinking abilities. It highlights their capacity to handle challenges and make sound decisions. Fosters team confidence. When leaders solve problems effectively, it boosts the confidence and morale of their team. It creates a positive environment where challenges are seen as opportunities rather than obstacles. Steps to effective problem solving. Identify the problem. Clearly define the problem. Understand its root cause, scope, and impact. A well-defined problem is easier to address. Gather information. Collect relevant data and information. Engage with team members and stakeholders to gain different perspectives and insights. Analyze the problem. Break down the problem into manageable parts. Analyze the information gathered to understand the underlying issues and interconnections. Generate solutions. Brainstorm possible solutions. Encourage creativity and consider multiple approaches. Evaluate the pros and cons of each potential solution. Make a decision. Choose the best solution based on the analysis. Ensure that the decision aligns with organizational goals and values. Implement the solution. Develop an action plan to implement the chosen solution. Assign responsibilities, set timelines, and allocate resources. Monitor and evaluate. Continuously monitor the implementation process. Evaluate the effectiveness of the solution and make adjustments as needed. Learn from the experience. Reflect on the problem-solving process. Identify lessons learned and use them to improve future problem-solving efforts. Practical Applications Develop critical thinking. Enhance your critical thinking skills through practice and continuous learning. Engage in activities that challenge your problem-solving abilities. Foster a problem-solving culture. Create an environment where team members feel empowered to identify and solve problems. Encourage collaboration and open communication. Stay proactive. Anticipate potential problems and address them before they escalate. Being proactive helps in managing issues more effectively. Use problem-solving tools. Utilize tools and techniques such as SWOT analysis, root cause analysis, and decision matrices to aid in the problem-solving process. Communicate clearly. Maintain clear and transparent communication throughout the problem-solving process. Keep all stakeholders informed and involved. Encourage innovation. Promote a culture of innovation where creative solutions are welcomed. Encourage your team to think outside the box. Conclusion John C. Maxwell's emphasis on problem-solving as a quick path to leadership highlights its importance in demonstrating competence, building trust, and adding value to the organization. Effective problem-solving involves identifying and analyzing problems, generating and implementing solutions, and continuously monitoring and learning from the process. Leaders who excel in problem-solving not only enhance their own credibility but also foster a culture of innovation and resilience within their teams. This capability is crucial for driving organizational success and achieving long-term leadership growth.
In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell underscores the importance of attitude as the extra plus in leadership. A positive attitude can significantly enhance a leader's effectiveness, influence, and overall impact on their team and organization. The extra plus in leadership, attitude. Key idea. A leader's attitude affects their behavior, decisions, and interactions with others. A positive attitude inspires and motivates others, fosters a productive work environment, and contributes to achieving organizational goals. Why attitude is essential in leadership. Influences perception and response. A leader's attitude shapes how they perceive challenges and opportunities. A positive attitude enables leaders to approach problems constructively and find solutions. Inspires and motivates others. Leaders with positive attitudes can inspire and uplift their team. They create an environment where team members feel valued, motivated, and empowered to perform their best. Builds resilience. Positive leaders are more resilient in the face of setbacks. They maintain a hopeful outlook and encourage their team to persevere and adapt. Fosters a positive work culture. A leader's attitude sets the tone for the organization. A positive attitude promotes a culture of collaboration, trust, and mutual respect. Enhances leadership influence. Leaders with positive attitudes are more influential. People are naturally drawn to and are more willing to follow leaders who exhibit optimism and confidence. Developing a positive attitude. Self-awareness. Reflect on your own attitude and how it affects your behavior and interactions. Identify areas where you can improve and commit to making positive changes. Positive thinking. Cultivate a habit of positive thinking. Focus on solutions rather than problems and look for the silver lining in challenging situations. Gratitude. Practice gratitude by regularly acknowledging and appreciating the good things in your life and work. Gratitude can shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right. Surround yourself with positivity. Surround yourself with positive influences, including supportive colleagues, mentors, and inspirational resources. Limit exposure to negativity. Encourage and uplift others. Actively encourage and support your team members. Recognize their achievements and provide constructive feedback that fosters growth. Continuous learning. Maintain a growth mindset by embracing continuous learning and development. View challenges as opportunities to learn and improve. Manage stress. Develop healthy ways to manage stress and maintain a balanced lifestyle. Regular exercise, mindfulness practices, and hobbies can help you stay positive. Practical applications. Led by example. Demonstrate a positive attitude in all your interactions. Your behavior will set a standard for your team to follow. Communicate positively. Use positive language when communicating with your team. Focus on what can be done rather than what cannot. Recognize and celebrate success. Regularly acknowledge and celebrate individual and team successes. This reinforces a positive attitude and motivates others. Handle setbacks gracefully. When faced with setbacks, maintain a calm and optimistic demeanor. Encourage your team to view challenges as opportunities for growth. Promote a positive work environment. Foster an environment where positivity, collaboration, and mutual respect are valued and practiced. Conclusion John C. Maxwell's focus on attitude as the extra plus in leadership highlights its critical role in shaping a leader's effectiveness and influence. A positive attitude enables leaders to inspire and motivate their teams, foster a constructive work culture, and navigate challenges with resilience. By cultivating self-awareness, practicing gratitude, encouraging others, and maintaining a growth mindset, leaders can develop and sustain a positive attitude that enhances their leadership impact. Ultimately, a leader's attitude not only affects their own success but also significantly contributes to the success and well-being of their team and organization. In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell highlights that the heart of leadership is serving people. Effective leadership is not about exerting power or authority but about serving others and helping them achieve their best. The heart of leadership, serving people. Key idea. True leadership is rooted in the desire to serve others. Leaders who prioritize serving their team members build trust, foster loyalty, and create an environment where everyone can thrive. Why serving people is essential in leadership. Builds trust and loyalty. When leaders serve their team members, they build strong, 
trust-based relationships. Team members are more likely to be loyal and committed when they feel supported and valued by their leader. Enhances team performance. Serving leaders focus on removing obstacles and providing resources that help their team members succeed. This support enables higher levels of performance and productivity. Fosters a positive culture. Leaders who serve set a tone of respect, empathy, and collaboration within the organization. This creates a positive and inclusive work culture. Develops future leaders. Serving leaders invest in the growth and development of their team members. By mentoring and coaching, they help cultivate the next generation of leaders. Increases influence. Serving leaders naturally earn the respect and admiration of their team. This respect enhances their influence and ability to lead effectively. Principles of serving leadership. Put people first. Prioritize the needs and well-being of your team members. Show genuine care and concern for their personal and professional growth. Listen actively. Practice active listening to understand the needs, concerns, and ideas of your team. This builds trust and demonstrates that you value their input. Empower others. Empower your team members by providing them with the authority, resources, and support they need to succeed. Encourage them to take initiative and make decisions. Led by example, demonstrate servant leadership through your actions. Show humility, integrity, and a commitment to serving others in all that you do. Support and develop. Invest in the development of your team members. Provide opportunities for learning, growth, and advancement. Offer constructive feedback and mentorship. Recognize and appreciate. Regularly acknowledge and appreciate the contributions and achievements of your team. Recognition boosts morale and reinforces a culture of appreciation. Communicate transparently. Maintain open and honest communication with your team. Share information, provide updates, and be transparent about decisions and changes. Practical applications. Conduct regular check-ins. Schedule regular one-on-one -on -one meetings with your team members to discuss their progress, challenges, and development needs. Remove barriers. Identify and address any obstacles that are hindering your team's performance. Provide the necessary resources and support to help them overcome these challenges. Encourage collaboration. Foster a collaborative environment where team members feel comfortable sharing ideas and working together. Encourage teamwork and mutual support. Provide growth opportunities. Offer opportunities for training, professional development, and career advancement. Help your team members set and achieve their career goals. Show empathy. Practice empathy by understanding and addressing the personal and professional needs of your team. Be supportive and considerate in your interactions. Celebrate success. Celebrate both individual and team successes. Recognize achievements publicly and express gratitude for your team's hard work and dedication. Conclusion John C. Maxwell's focus on serving people as the heart of leadership underscores the importance of prioritizing the well-being and development of team members. Serving leaders build trust, foster loyalty, and create a positive organizational culture. By putting people first, listening actively, empowering others, and leading by example, leaders can effectively serve their team and enhance their leadership impact. Ultimately, serving people is not just about achieving organizational goals, but also about making a meaningful difference in the lives of those you lead. In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell identifies vision as the indispensable quality of leadership. Vision is what sets leaders apart, providing direction and inspiration for their teams and organizations. The indispensable quality of leadership Vision. Key idea. Vision is the ability to see beyond the present and imagine a future that is better and more compelling. It provides a sense of purpose and direction, guiding the actions and decisions of both the leader and their followers. Why vision is essential in leadership. Provides direction. Vision offers a clear path for the future. It helps leaders and their teams understand where they are headed and what they are working towards. Inspires and motivates. A compelling vision can inspire and energize people. It creates excitement and commitment, motivating individuals to work towards achieving the vision. Aligns efforts. Vision helps align the efforts of all team members. It ensures that everyone is working towards the same goals and objectives, fostering unity and collaboration. Drives change. Vision encourages innovation and change. It challenges the status quo and inspires leaders and their teams to pursue new opportunities and improvements. 
sustains focus. Vision helps leaders and their teams maintain focus and resilience, especially during challenging times. It serves as a constant reminder of the bigger picture and long-term goals. Developing and communicating vision. Clarify your vision. Spend time reflecting on your vision for the future. Consider what you want to achieve and why it matters. Ensure that your vision is clear, compelling, and aligned with your values and goals. Involve others. Engage your team and stakeholders in the visioning process. Seek their input and ensure that the vision resonates with them. A shared vision is more powerful and motivating. Communicate clearly. Communicate your vision consistently and clearly. Use stories, examples, and concrete goals to make the vision tangible and relatable. Live the vision. Model behaviors and actions that reflect your vision. Demonstrate your commitment through your decisions and actions. Set milestones. Break down the vision into achievable milestones and goals. This helps track progress and maintain momentum. Reinforce regularly. Regularly revisit and reinforce the vision. Keep it at the forefront of discussions, meetings, and decision-making processes. Celebrate progress. Acknowledge and celebrate progress towards the vision. Recognize achievements and milestones to keep the team motivated and engaged. Practical applications. Create a vision statement. Develop a clear and concise vision statement that captures your aspirations and goals. Use this statement to guide your actions and decisions. Engage your team. Involve your team in the visioning process. Hold brainstorming sessions and discussions to gather their ideas and ensure buy-in. Communicate frequently. Regularly share updates on progress towards the vision. Use various communication channels to keep the vision alive and relevant. Align goals and actions. Ensure that your team's goals and actions are aligned with the vision. Use the vision as a benchmark for decision-making and prioritization. Inspire with stories. Use stories and examples to illustrate the vision and its impact. Stories can make the vision more relatable and inspiring. Evaluate and adjust. Periodically evaluate the vision and its relevance. Be open to adjusting the vision based on new insights, feedback, and changing circumstances. Conclusion. John C. Maxwell's emphasis on vision as the indispensable quality of leadership highlights its critical role in providing direction, inspiration, and alignment. A clear and compelling vision helps leaders and their teams navigate challenges, pursue opportunities, and stay focused on long-term goals. By developing, communicating, and living the vision, leaders can inspire and guide their teams towards achieving a brighter and more compelling future. Vision is not just a leadership tool. It is the essence of what drives and sustains effective leadership. In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell asserts that self-discipline is the price tag of leadership. It is a fundamental quality that enables leaders to achieve their goals, maintain focus, and set a positive example for others. The price tag of leadership, self-discipline. Key idea. Self-discipline is the ability to control one's behavior, emotions, and impulses to achieve long-term goals and maintain high standards. It is crucial for leaders who wish to inspire, influence, and guide others effectively. Why self-discipline is essential in leadership. Achieves goals. Self-discipline helps leaders stay focused on their goals and work consistently towards achieving them. It enables them to prioritize tasks and resist distractions. Models behavior. Leaders with self-discipline set a strong example for their team. Their behavior demonstrates the importance of commitment, responsibility, and perseverance. Manages stress. Self-discipline helps leaders manage stress and maintain composure, even in challenging situations. This stability is crucial for making sound decisions and leading effectively. Enhances performance. By practicing self-discipline, leaders can improve their performance and productivity. They can better manage their time, resources, and energy. Builds trust and respect. Leaders who consistently exhibit self-discipline earn the trust and respect of their team. They are seen as reliable and dependable, which strengthens their leadership influence. Developing self-discipline. Set clear goals. Establish clear, specific goals that align with your vision and values. Having a clear sense of purpose helps maintain focus and motivation. Create a plan. Develop a detailed plan with actionable steps to achieve your goals. Break down larger objectives into smaller, manageable tasks. Establish routines. Build positive habits and routines that support your goals. 
Consistent routines help reinforce self-discipline and make it easier to stay on track. Practice time management. Use time management techniques to prioritize tasks and manage your schedule effectively. Allocate dedicated time for important activities and avoid procrastination. Monitor progress. Regularly track your progress towards your goals. Evaluate your performance, identify areas for improvement, and make necessary adjustments. Manage impulses. Develop strategies to manage impulses and resist distractions. Practice mindfulness and self-control to stay focused on long-term objectives. Stay accountable. Hold yourself accountable for your actions and decisions. Seek feedback and support from mentors, coaches, or peers to stay committed to your goals. Practice resilience. Build resilience to overcome setbacks and challenges. Learn from failures and use them as opportunities for growth and improvement. Practical applications. Create a daily schedule. Plan your day with specific tasks and priorities. Stick to your schedule to maintain discipline and productivity. Set personal boundaries. Establish boundaries to avoid distractions and maintain focus. This may include limiting social media use or setting specific times for work and relaxation. Use productivity tools. Utilize productivity tools and techniques, such as to-do lists, time blocking, or productivity apps, to enhance self-discipline and manage your workload. Develop healthy habits. Incorporate healthy habits into your routine, such as regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and adequate rest. These habits support overall well-being and self-discipline. Seek accountability partners. Find accountability partners or mentors who can provide support, encouragement, and feedback. Share your goals and progress with them to stay motivated. Conclusion John C. Maxwell's focus on self-discipline as the price tag of leadership underscores its importance in achieving success, maintaining focus, and setting a positive example. Self-discipline enables leaders to manage their time, resources, and impulses effectively leading to improved performance and greater influence. By setting clear goals, establishing routines, managing time, and practicing resilience, leaders can develop and sustain the self-discipline needed to achieve their objectives and inspire others. Self-discipline is not just a personal trait, but a fundamental component of effective leadership. In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell emphasizes that personal growth is integral to the expansion of leadership. Effective leaders continuously seek to improve themselves, which in turn enhances their leadership capabilities and impact. The expansion of leadership, personal growth. Key idea, personal growth is the process of self-improvement and development. It is essential for expanding leadership capabilities as it enables leaders to adapt, innovate, and enhance their influence. Why personal growth is essential in leadership. Enhances leadership skills. Personal growth allows leaders to develop and refine their leadership skills, such as communication, decision-making, and problem-solving. Increases adaptability. Continuous growth helps leaders adapt to changing circumstances and challenges. It fosters flexibility and resilience in the face of uncertainty. Promotes innovation. Leaders who focus on personal growth are more likely to embrace new ideas and approaches. This encourages creativity and drives innovation within their teams. Builds confidence. Personal growth boosts a leader's confidence and self-efficacy. As leaders develop new skills and knowledge, they gain greater assurance in their abilities. Sets a positive example. Leaders who prioritize their own growth model a commitment to learning and improvement. This sets a positive example for their team and encourages a culture of continuous development. Strategies for personal growth. Set personal development goals. Identify areas for improvement and set specific, measurable goals for personal growth. Align these goals with your leadership aspirations and organizational objectives. Seek feedback. Regularly seek feedback from peers, mentors, and team members. Constructive feedback helps you understand your strengths and areas for improvement. Engage in lifelong learning. Commit to lifelong learning through various means, such as reading, attending workshops, and taking courses. Stay updated on industry trends and best practices. Reflect and self-assess. Practice self-reflection and regularly assess your progress. Reflect on your experiences, challenges, and achievements to gain insights and identify growth opportunities. Build a support network. Surround yourself with mentors, coaches, and peers who can provide guidance, support, and encouragement. 
Leverage their experience and expertise to enhance your growth. Practice self-discipline. Maintain discipline in pursuing your growth goals. Develop habits and routines that support your personal development and keep you accountable. Embrace challenges. View challenges as opportunities for growth. Step out of your comfort zone and take on new responsibilities to develop your skills and expand your capabilities. Practical Applications Create a personal development plan. Develop a detailed plan outlining your growth objectives, strategies, and timelines. Include specific actions and resources needed to achieve your goals. Read regularly. Read books, articles, and other resources related to leadership and personal development. Use these materials to gain new insights and knowledge. Attend workshops and seminars. Participate in workshops, seminars, and conferences to enhance your skills and network with other professionals. Seek a mentor or coach. Find a mentor or coach who can provide guidance and support. Regularly meet with them to discuss your progress and seek advice. Practice self-reflection. Set aside time for regular self-reflection. Evaluate your experiences, identify lessons learned, and adjust your development plan as needed. Participate in peer learning. Engage in discussions and learning activities with peers and colleagues. Share experiences and learn from each other's perspectives. Conclusion John C. Maxwell's focus on personal growth as the expansion of leadership highlights its critical role in enhancing leadership effectiveness and impact. Personal growth enables leaders to develop essential skills, adapt to change, and drive innovation. By setting development goals, seeking feedback, engaging in lifelong learning, and building a support network, leaders can foster their own growth and set a positive example for their teams. Personal growth is not just about individual improvement. It is a key driver of leadership expansion and organizational success. To effectively implement personal growth strategies and expand your leadership capabilities, here are some practical applications based on the principles outlined by John C. Maxwell. Practical Applications for Personal Growth Create a Personal Development Plan Action Develop a detailed plan that includes specific growth objectives, strategies for achieving them, and timelines. Example If you want to improve your public speaking skills, your plan might include taking a public speaking course, joining a Toastmasters club, and practicing speeches regularly. Read regularly. Action. Establish a reading routine that includes books, articles, and journals related to leadership and personal development. Example. Set a goal to read one leadership book per month. Summarize key takeaways and how they can be applied to your role. Attend workshops and seminars. Action. Identify and participate in workshops, seminars, and conferences that offer learning opportunities and networking with industry professionals. Example, register for an annual leadership conference relevant to your field. Take notes on new strategies and ideas to implement in your work. Seek a mentor or coach. Action, find a mentor or coach who can provide guidance, support, and constructive feedback on your growth journey. Example, schedule monthly meetings with a mentor to discuss your progress, set goals, and address challenges. Practice self-reflection. Action. Set aside regular time for self-reflection to evaluate your experiences, lessons learned, and progress towards your development goals. Example. At the end of each week, spend 30 minutes reflecting on your achievements and areas for improvement. Adjust your development plan based on these reflections. Participate in peer learning. Action. Engage in peer learning activities such as discussion groups, study circles, or collaborative projects with colleagues. Example, organize a monthly book club with your team to discuss leadership books and share insights. Apply learned concepts to team projects. Embrace challenges. Action. Actively seek out and take on challenging projects or responsibilities that push you out of your comfort zone. Example, volunteer to lead a cross-functional team on a new initiative. Use this opportunity to develop your leadership and problem-solving skills. Build a support network. Action. Cultivate a network of peers, mentors, and industry contacts who can offer support, advice, and encouragement. Example. Join a professional association or online community related to your field. Attend networking events and build relationships with other leaders. Develop healthy habits. Action. Incorporate healthy habits into your daily routine to support overall well-being and enhance self-discipline. Example. Establish a routine that includes regular exercise, healthy eating, 
and adequate sleep. This helps maintain energy and focus for personal growth activities. Set and track milestones. Action. Break down your development goals into smaller milestones and track your progress towards achieving them. Example. If your goal is to improve project management skills, set milestones such as completing a project management certification, successfully leading a project, and receiving positive feedback from stakeholders. Conclusion. Implementing these practical applications will help you effectively pursue personal growth and expand your leadership capabilities. By creating a structured development plan, seeking continuous learning opportunities, engaging with mentors and peers, and embracing challenges, you can enhance your leadership skills and make a meaningful impact in your role. Personal growth is an ongoing process that requires commitment and action, but it is essential for becoming a more effective and influential leader. In Developing the Leader Within You, John C. Maxwell presents a comprehensive framework for effective leadership, emphasizing the essential qualities and strategies that contribute to successful leadership development. Here's a summary of the key insights and takeaways. Conclusion Leadership Defined by Influence Leadership is fundamentally about influence. Effective leaders inspire and guide others through their actions, decisions, and interpersonal skills. They leverage their influence to motivate and shape the direction of their teams. Levels of Leadership Leadership growth involves ascending through various levels, from positional leadership to the pinnacle of leadership where one achieves personal and organizational success. Each level requires different skills and qualities, including respect, relationships, and results. Priorities and Focus Successful leaders prioritize their activities based on their values and goals. Effective time and resource management, along with clear prioritization, are crucial for achieving leadership success. Integrity as a cornerstone. Integrity is the foundation of effective leadership. Leaders must demonstrate honesty, consistency, and ethical behavior to build trust and credibility with their teams. Creating positive change. The ultimate test of leadership is the ability to create positive change. Leaders must drive transformation by inspiring others, addressing challenges, and continuously seeking improvement. Problem solving as a leadership tool. Effective problem solving is a key attribute for gaining leadership. Leaders who address and resolve issues effectively build trust and demonstrate their competence. Attitude as the extra plus. A positive attitude enhances leadership effectiveness. Leaders who maintain optimism and resilience inspire their teams and contribute to a positive work environment. Serving people at the heart. Serving others is at the core of true leadership. Leaders who prioritize the needs and development of their team members build strong relationships and foster a supportive and productive culture. Vision as an indispensable quality. Vision is crucial for providing direction and inspiration. Leaders must articulate a clear and compelling vision to align and motivate their teams towards achieving shared goals. Self-discipline as the price tag. Self-discipline is essential for achieving leadership success. Leaders must exercise control, manage their time effectively, and remain committed to their goals. Personal growth for leadership expansion. Continuous personal growth is key to expanding leadership capabilities. Leaders should focus on self-improvement, seek feedback, and embrace lifelong learning to enhance their effectiveness. Final thoughts. John C. Maxwell's principles underscore that effective leadership is a dynamic and evolving process. It involves a combination of core qualities, such as influence, integrity, vision, and self-discipline, and practical strategies for personal and professional growth. By focusing on these areas, leaders can develop their skills, inspire their teams, and drive meaningful change. Leadership is not just about holding a position of authority. It's about continuously growing, serving others, and making a positive impact.